Hey, all we're back again. Uh, <clears throat> so, looking at the uh, wing root fairings, I've gone ahead and, uh, after the first application of filler, taken the top uh, fuselage side of the tape off and run another uh, line of or layer of um, spackle on both sides. See that here, the fuselage tape is off, and that secondary application is on. Uh, <coughs> there will be, on both sides now, you, a, a very clear definition of where that top line is, so the tape's no longer necessary. Uh, this chip keeps falling down. Got these old office chairs and the <coughs> Extenders pretty much worn out on them. They just bought them out. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, you know. So I want to do uh, show you the work that's going on with the uh, with the ring uh, wing root fairings. Also the propeller. Here's uh, here's how the prop is going to look. Let me get some of this stuff off of here. And why I need to do that just now. The, the place is a mess. I haven't had a chance to stop and restart to clean this dust. But anyway, here's the um, propeller hub. And you can see now that these uh, pockets for the blades are pretty clearly defined. They're a little rough, but it won't matter. And I'll show you why. Uh, you can see the prop will spin. This'll, this section will be glued into the crankcase uh, bell housing. Uh, it fits nice and, and close up to the uh, right up to the front of the motor, uh, and, and again the the, um, the holes here are pocketed, and that's to give us plenty of uh, adhesion area. Let's see which is this two two okay. So this is the right blade for this opening, and they'll drop in there. But that's not how it's actually going to look. We're going to add a ring of solder to replicate the blade. Uh, attachment collar like so and then once the blade is secure at the proper angle obviously we need propeller incidents and we need to make sure we have this angled the right way here so that our blade looks square and then uh, once that's cured a uh, slight just a drop of adhesive will be added right at the back of this um, solder ring and it will be dropped right down onto the right down onto the hub and that'll give us the appearance of a prop blade collar attachment there okay so the blades will be black the hub will be uh, polished uh, aluminum uh, along with just the short shank of the uh, propeller blade this will also be in that polished aluminum so I've got a little more filler to add and plenty more of the um, sealant uh, to put on these before they're ready for paint. Lots of sanding yet to get the uh, wood grain removed. They need to look, um, you know, proper. They need to look like solid metal, polished metal, and uh, that, that's how they'll look. And then they'll be painted black over that, over that smooth finish. But that's how the, that's how the blade is going to go together. So I have each opening numbered based on the slightly, you know, different circumference of the. Um, of the shaft of the of the prop blade there at the base, but they all fit in nice and tight. And again, you'll just uh, be putting a, a liberal amount of adhesive in here, probably using wood glue in there. Um, and then with you know that that amount of surface area for glue, and then the um, the ring of uh, solder over the top to replicate the collar, also a liberal amount of adhesive around that. Uh, we should end up with a, a pretty secure uh, connection for the propeller blades to the hub, right? So that's that's the course we're on with the uh, propeller at this point. So we're just going to keep the hub inserted into the um, crankcase just to keep everything together. Uh, when things will get lost or stepped on, and the blades will go back up here on the shelf with the control surfaces for the tail. And uh, I've got a lot more <coughs> sanding.
sanding and finish work to do, I still have to do the fairings on the, around the tail. The wings come first. As soon as they're com completed top and bottom, so I have to do the underside of the airplane as far as these fairings go. Let me pull this out and I'll show you what we have so far. Oops, and I bumped the camera, get a nice wiggle. So here's the underside. You can see I've got this filled already, but it hasn't been sanded really yet. And then these um, fairings also, I'll need to be adding um, a liberal amount of uh, spackle coming up along the belly pan to about this point. I'll do a full stop here and then just up around the gear door hinges and then back to the front, <laughs> back to the front, where we'll uh, then be rejoining with the, uh, with the uh, upper wing surface fairings right here at the um, at this juncture okay so that's um, that's where we're at with the fairings you can see how these fillets um, give it that nice appearance of a proper wing connection to the fuselage buck the camera again for you just so you have to feel like you're part of the show and there you see how it's coming along uh, nothing has changed at the front. I'm pretty pretty satisfied with the cowling. I think that's going to be fine the way it sits. If anything, I might you know paint it with a few more coats of the sealer uh, just for fun and before we lay the primer down. Um, I really like the way that <coughs> that sealer uh, affects the overall subsurface, the surface of the aircraft before it's painted. So you know that that goes on pretty liberally. That's again that's the sand and seal product from Deluxe. Good stuff. Highly recommend. Anyway, uh, there's your update on the P-47 project. Uh, the work I've done today is just a little bit with the propeller, figuring out how that's going to go together. Um, <coughs> I don't want to uh, I don't want to assemble the prop just yet because with the blades on it's it's a lot more fragile and and prone to accident you know accidental <coughs> fracturing so we're not going to actually build the prop up until the last minute that's one of the last things along with the canopy uh, to go onto the airplane the prop and then the canopy or somewhere in that order um, but uh, you know near the end of of everything else with the airplane, you know, once it's decaled and sealed uh, with the clear coats, um, at that point I'll probably finish the prop, paint it, get it ready, and just install it last, along with the, uh, as I said, the last two things that go on be the prop and the and the windshield canopy <coughs> for the airplane. Right. So there's your update. I hope everybody's having a great uh, had a great Easter, family sort of thing big gathering here we had a lot of had a lot of fun with the grandkids I got them sleeping over like we do on most Sunday nights um, but uh, you know it's it's a tremendous thing for a for a dad you know to get to be a grandpa or even a stepdad or you know however it works out for you and your family just um, you know being able to be there for the kids and, and be a part of their upbringing and bit of their um, training. The little humans have to be trained to be, you know, how to be proper adults, you know, and to grow into the position. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a managerial thing, but it's, anyway, it's, it's something I love, and I love the fact that they're in there now sleeping in, you know, in the beds that we have for them here at our house. So, anyway, I hope everybody's having a great day. <coughs> love you all. Appreciate you all. Thank you.